Welcome to Pharmacy Bazaar's YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about a common medical complaint that affects people of all ages and backgrounds headaches. While most headaches are not serious, they can cause significant discomfort and impact daily life. In this video, we will discuss how headaches can affect your daily life, what causes them, and the mechanisms behind them. So let's get started. How do headaches affect daily life? Headaches are one of the most common medical complaints and affect people of all ages and backgrounds. While most headaches are not serious, they can cause significant discomfort and impact daily life. Let's take a look at some of the ways that headaches can affect our daily activities. Headaches can impact work productivity. They can make it difficult to focus, concentrate, and perform tasks at work, leading to missed days of work or decreased productivity. It can make it difficult to participate in social activities such as going out with friends or attending events. This can lead to feelings of isolation and a decrease in overall quality of life and can interfere with exercise routines and make it difficult to maintain an active lifestyle. This can lead to a decrease in physical fitness and overall health. Headaches can make daily tasks such as cooking, cleaning, and driving more challenging and uncomfortable. This can lead to a decrease in overall quality of life. Irritability, anxiety, and depression can be caused by headaches, which can have a negative impact on personal relationships and daily life, affecting overall emotional well-being and headaches can interfere with sleep, causing difficulty falling asleep or waking up with a headache which can lead to fatigue and a lack of energy during the day. Lastly, headaches can cause strain on relationships with family and friends, as well as romantic relationships, due to missed activities or changes in mood and behavior. So, what exactly is a headache? A headache is a pain or discomfort in the head, scalp, or neck. It can be classified into two main categories, primary headaches and secondary headaches. Primary headaches are not caused by an underlying medical condition and include tension headaches, migraines, and cluster headaches. They can be caused by factors such as stress, lack of sleep, dehydration, or certain foods. Secondary headaches are caused by an underlying medical condition or injury, such as a sinus infection, concussion, or brain tumor. These headaches can be more severe and require medical attention. Symptoms of a headache can vary depending on the type and severity of the headache. Common symptoms include a dull or throbbing pain in the head, sensitivity to light or noise, nausea, and fatigue. The sensation of a headache is initiated by the activation of specialized nerve fibers called nociceptors, which are located in the head, neck, and scalp. Nociceptors are activated by a variety of stimuli, such as tension in the muscles, inflammation in the tissues, or dilation of blood vessels. When nociceptors are activated, they send signals to the brainstem, which is a region at the base of the brain. The brainstem then relays the signal to the thalamus, which is a region deep within the brain that processes sensory information. The thalamus sends the signal to the sensory cortex, which is the part of the brain responsible for interpreting sensory information. The sensory cortex then produces the sensation of pain, which is experienced as a dull or throbbing ache in the head, scalp, or neck. The experience of a headache can also be influenced by a variety of factors, such as stress, anxiety, or depression. These factors can increase the perception of pain and make the headache feel more severe. There are several types of headaches, which can be broadly categorized as primary headaches and secondary headaches. Primary headaches are not caused by an underlying medical condition and include tension headaches, migraines, and cluster headaches. Let's take a closer look at these types of primary headaches. Tension headaches are the most common type of primary headache and are often described as a dull, aching pain that can be felt on both sides of the head. They can also cause pressure or tightness in the forehead or the back of the neck. Tension headaches are usually caused by stress, poor posture, 
or muscle tension in the neck and scalp. Migraines are a type of headache that are characterized by a severe, throbbing pain on one side of the head, although they can occur on both sides. Migraines can also cause sensitivity to light and sound, nausea, and vomiting. Migraines can be triggered by a variety of factors, such as stress, hormonal changes, certain foods, or changes in sleep patterns. Cluster headaches are a less common type of primary headache but can be more severe than other types. They are often described as a sharp, stabbing pain on one side of the head and can be accompanied by other symptoms, such as redness and tearing of the eye, a runny nose, or facial sweating. Cluster headaches occur in cycles, with periods of intense headaches followed by periods of remission. In addition to these types of primary headaches, there are also secondary headaches. These are caused by an underlying medical condition or injury, such as a sinus infection, concussion, or brain tumor. These headaches can be more severe and require medical attention. Other types of primary headaches include exertional headaches, which are caused by physical activity and can cause a throbbing or pulsating pain that can last for several hours, and sex headaches, which occur during sexual activity and can cause a sudden, severe headache that can last for several minutes to several hours. There are also thunderclap headaches, which are a rare type of primary headache that are characterized by a sudden, severe headache that peaks within seconds to minutes. These can be caused by a variety of factors, such as a ruptured blood vessel or a brain infection. Secondary headaches are caused by an underlying medical condition or injury, such as a sinus infection, concussion, or brain tumor. Let's take a closer look at some of the different types of secondary headaches. Sinus headaches are caused by inflammation in the sinuses and can cause pain and pressure around the eyes, cheeks, and forehead. They can also cause nasal congestion and post-nasal drip. Head injury headaches can occur after a head injury or concussion and can cause a persistent, dull headache that can last for several days to several weeks. Other symptoms can include dizziness, nausea, and sensitivity to light and sound. Medication overuse headaches, also known as rebound headaches, occur when pain medications are overused or used for an extended period of time. They can cause a dull, persistent headache that can be difficult to relieve with medication. Caffeine withdrawal headaches can occur when a person stops consuming caffeine or reduces their caffeine intake. They can cause a throbbing headache that can last for several days. TMJ headaches are caused by a problem with the temporomandibular joint, which is the joint that connects the jaw to the skull. They can cause pain in the jaw, face, and head as well as difficulty opening and closing the mouth. Post-traumatic headaches can occur after a traumatic event, such as a car accident or a physical assault. They can cause a persistent headache that can last for several weeks or months, as well as other symptoms such as dizziness and difficulty concentrating. Brain tumor headaches can occur when a tumor in the brain causes pressure on the surrounding tissues. They can cause a persistent headache that can be accompanied by other symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and changes in vision or speech. There are many different causes of headaches, including both primary and secondary headaches. Here are some of the most common causes. Stress and tension can cause muscle tension in the neck and scalp, leading to tension headaches. Hormonal changes, such as those that occur during menstruation, pregnancy, or menopause, can also cause headaches. Dehydration can cause headaches, particularly if it is severe. Sinus infections and allergies can cause inflammation in the sinuses, leading to sinus headaches. Migraines can be triggered by a variety of factors, such as stress, hormonal changes, certain foods, or changes in sleep patterns. The exact cause of cluster headaches is not known, but they are thought to be related to abnormalities in the hypothalamus. Head injuries can cause headaches, particularly if there is damage to the skull or brain. Certain medications, such as those used to treat high blood pressure or depression, can cause headaches as a side effect. 
Brain tumors can cause headaches, particularly if they are pressing on the surrounding tissues. Headaches can be caused by a variety of factors, such as stress, dehydration, inflammation, and muscle tension. Depending on the type and severity of the headache, different types of medications may be recommended. Over-the-counter pain medications such as acetaminophen, aspirin, and ibuprofen can be used to relieve mild to moderate headache pain. However, for migraines, prescription medications such as tryptans and agotamines are often recommended as they work by constricting blood vessels in the brain and reducing inflammation. Opioids, on the other hand, are generally not recommended for headache relief due to their potential for dependence and side effects. Antinocia medications like metoclopramide can be used to relieve nausea and vomiting associated with migraines, while Botox injections can be administered to the muscles of the head and neck to prevent migraines. Apart from medication, there are several non-medical approaches to headache relief. Relaxation techniques like deep breathing, meditation, and progressive muscle relaxation can help reduce stress and tension, while heat and cold therapy, massage therapy, and acupuncture can also help relieve headache pain. Making certain lifestyle changes can also help prevent headaches from occurring in the first place. For example, managing stress through techniques like meditation, deep breathing, and yoga can reduce stress levels and prevent headaches. Regular exercise can also help reduce stress levels and improve overall health, while maintaining a regular sleep schedule can help prevent headaches. It's also important to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water throughout the day, eat a healthy diet that is rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and practice good posture to avoid muscle strain in the neck and shoulders. Finally, limiting screen time and taking frequent breaks from staring at a computer or phone screen can reduce eye strain and prevent headaches. Firstly, while most headaches are not a cause for concern, there are certain circumstances when it is important to seek medical attention for a headache. If you experience a sudden, severe headache that is unlike any headache you have experienced before, seek medical attention immediately. This could be a sign of a serious medical condition, such as a ruptured aneurysm. If you have a headache along with a fever or after a head injury, or if you experience a headache along with neurological symptoms such as vision changes or difficulty speaking, seek medical attention immediately. Additionally, if you have a headache that is gradually getting worse over time or does not respond to over-the-counter pain medications or other treatments, seek medical attention. If you are experiencing frequent or severe headaches, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment plan. Secondly, rebound headaches, also known as medication overuse headaches, can occur when pain medications are overused or used for an extended period of time. To prevent rebound headaches, limit the use of pain medications to only as directed and only when necessary. Avoid using multiple pain medications at the same time and take regular breaks from pain medications. Consider alternative treatments for pain relief, such as relaxation techniques, massage therapy, or acupuncture. Addressing underlying medical conditions that are causing headaches, such as sinus infections or migraines, can also help reduce the need for pain medications and prevent rebound headaches. If you are experiencing frequent or severe headaches, it is important to consult with a healthcare provider for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment plan. They can help you develop a plan to manage your headaches and prevent rebound headaches. If you are experiencing frequent or severe headaches, it is important to speak with a healthcare professional. They can help determine the underlying cause of your headaches and recommend appropriate treatment options. Thank you for watching this video on when to seek medical attention for headaches and how to prevent rebound headaches. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this.